Hello, uh, here we are at Langhorne Creek. It's middle of February, the South Australian summer. And as everywhere in South Australia and Australia, we've got to look at the hydrology, the aridification of this landscape, how long we can keep it green and growing to produce food for the future. We're going to have a look at the soil because the critical thing about maintaining moisture in the landscape is our soil carbon sponge how much water it can infiltrate, retain, to sustain that longevity of green that is so critical for agricultural productivities and futures. So let me take a shovel full, and you notice it goes in quite readily. So basically that means that there's a fairly open, loose structure in the soil. And if you can see this now, we have actually a very good root proliferation throughout the soil but it's also dark carbon high carbon soil lots of organic matter lots of aggregates and able to infiltrate and retain water in a fairly high level and it's that soil carbon sponge that is critical whatever the rainfall is to maintain and get most of that water into the soil and of course to get that recharge those in soil reservoirs which is in a sense what nature will rely on to maintain these biosystems and obviously the next thing that's critically important is the root proliferation throughout these soils to access this water and again we can see very good root growth through this medium and in a sense this is what we have to aspire for all over Australia how do we rebuild the water holding capacity, the infiltration, the retention of moisture from rainfall in our soils.